Oh, hi there, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Cardwell's Cauldrons, a production of Geektopia Island. My name is Cardwell. And I'm Kevin. And here, I was debating back and forth what to do, because I wanted... So this is a black-white deck, just straight up. I was like, I kind of want to do Sun Mare Control, because, you know, that's cute, game life, get a bunch of things. I was like... But then I was like, all these vampires are pretty powerful, too. But then... I started playing a uh, MTG Arena. Uh, I was in the closed beta now. Well, the secret closed beta, still in the closed beta, and I played an aggro version of Black White just for funs because of the quest. I was like, "Yeah, this seems pretty fun." And since this is the first week before pre, or the last week before pre-release of Dominaria, just like why not go in with something quick and dirty, and then if you lose, whatever. Next week you get all the amazing cards. Yeah. The deck is named Team Edward. <laughs> Because as vampires and humans come together, and there ain't no werewolves in this party. There's, there's not. No, get yeah, them out of no. here. Nope. No. <laughs> and they're vampires who get to stay in the daylight, right? Yeah. So there you go. It works. It works. It works. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's get let's get into let's, Team Edward. Let's yeah, deal with this. Yeah. All right. So first off, we got the grasping scoundrel. Yep. One black. For a human pirate, 1-1, one, one, when he gets plus 1, plus 1 when he's attacking. Yep, so all your 1 drops are 2-1 here, or essentially do 2 damage if possible. That's pretty good. Because you just want to get there. Uh, next one, of course, the Vampire, Sky Marcher Aspirant. 1 uh, drop, 2-1. One. It has Ascend. If you Ascend, you have Flying, but you just want it, want to drop it down. Yeah. It's dudes. Yep. Oh, this dude, He's he's got a soft spot. Yeah, I love cards like this. So one black, a vicious conquistador. He's a vampire soldier. When he attacks, each opponent loses one life. Yep. He's a one-two. So in essence, you're dealing two. Awesome. Just, yeah, I swing, you take one. Hopefully you're dead before then. There is another one drop, of course. I didn't put it in this deck, but it does the same thing. Whenever it's tapped, opponent loses one life, you gain one life. Well, it's a one-one. And I kind of like, conquistador is one-two. Mm -hmm. So I could block little t small tokens and such. Especially like if it. they go turn one, little cat, lifelink cat. Yeah. You're just like, okay, well, I can swing in. I don't care. I like it. Pretty good. Uh, this one, uh, Danto Vanguard, two drop. He's kind of like a secret hitter in aggro decks. He's a 1-1, one, one, but as long as he attacks, he's a 2-1. So he's a 3. He gets 2 plus 2-0. Oh, yeah. So he's a 3-1 attacking. Pay for life, and he gains indestructible. Yeah. A 4 life... As an aggro deck, does not matter. Like, you're just like, okay, you fatal push him, cool. I'll take four. He's going to be swinging in your face later. Yeah. And it, it makes them not want to block either. Like, the early rusher, while you already have another 2-1 on the field, or two, like, just fill up the board. Yeah, I, I can vouch for that because I don't even want to block this dude because I'm just like, you're going to pay four life and I'm going to lose my creature yeah, for exactly. no reason. And to help you regain that four life back is Glory Bound Initiate. He's kind of disappeared. But he's amazing. 2-drop, 3-1. When you exit him, he becomes a 4-4 four, four with lifeline. Cool. Thanks. Yeah, it's pretty good. Life. Just swinging in and doing all the damage as you can. Yeah, two mana 4-3s. Yeah. Yeah, 4-4. Yeah, 4-4. Yeah, four, four. Four, four. Yeah. yeah, all day. Last guy is a Glint Sieve Siphoner. Yep. Two mana for a 2-1 Menace. He's a human rogue. And when he enters the battlefield or attacks, out of energy. At the beginning of your upkeep, you can pay two energy if you do, draw a card and lose a life. Now, at the moment, I, I did have the dwarf that produced energy as well on his swings, but I ran out of cards. So, uh, Siphoner is just your card draw attacker. Like, yeah. You want to be aggro, you want to draw cards, Siphoner is the best bet. Like, it's just, and if she fuels herself, so you're good. Yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah. All right, we'll get to the, the spells here. Something while I was playing Arena, I realized Cartouche of Solidarity is extremely good for aggro. It's a one white enchant creature you control. Uh, Cartouche gives, puts out a 1 1 dude out. Cool, thanks. Soldier with Vigilance. And then your dude gets plus one, plus one, and first strike. So yeah. turn one, you're like the 2 1 vampire. Turn two, now it's a 3 2 first striker. I have another dude, and hopefully you drop another dude. It's definitely worth it. Or, yeah. Or with that second mana, you fatal push. That's what we have. It's just, if you play black, it's really good. Yeah, it's super good. It's super cheap, what you want to do and get through. Alright, go ahead. Now, now this one, 
is a combat trick. It's like, ah, gotcha, a blowout card, if you will. Supernatural Stamina. One black, I always like this card, instant. Your creature gets plus two, plus O, oh, until in the turn, if your dude dies, you can bring it back tapped. So, turn three, when they have their bigger dudes, they're like, okay, swing at me. I'm like, okay, I will. Like, uh, you trade, you get your dude back, and it's still, it's just good. Yeah, it's pretty hot. Yeah. All right, next up is another combat trick, Hidden Stockpile. Well, the, the, the trick is you swing in, you lose a dude. Hey, at the end of the turn, you still get a dude back. Yeah. Like, because hopefully you've pinned them down where they only have one blocker. So you're just like, okay, I don't care. Swing all out. They block the one dude. Hey, I get a dude back. Don't care. Yeah, and you can stack a dude in scry. Yeah, I so... Mean, if you have extra dudes, go for it. Yeah, so, like, you get a servo, they swing big, you block, you sack them, you scry your next turn. Cool. Don't even care. It's pretty hot. Yeah. All right, Cargo, it's your card. Part of the Conquerors. If you're going wide, you play this card. There's no reason not to. Uh, two drop creatures you control get a plus one, plus one. If you have a Sin, which hopefully you do, they get plus two, plus two instead. Just a pretty good. small combat trick that works. It does some pretty good stuff. Yep. And last but not least, a great kill spell for early game, Moment of Craving. Minus two, minus two creatures. Because uh, at first you want cheap kill spells. Mm -hmm. Even if they play a bigger dude, you swing in, they block, you trade in. Like, minus two, minus two their dude, we'll trade. I don't care. And it gains you two life back so you can pay more life for the dude or... For, for the cypher, yeah. Or just... all kinds of stuff, so... Yeah, and yeah, of course, uh, the like you said, the vampire, the, the Danto. Yeah. Just, okay, cool, I'll pay for That's fine. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Uh, the lands, they're standard. Uh, four concealed courtyards, four dead lands, because late game you want to weaken their dudes, make them, you know, uh, combat tricks. Uh, five swamps, nine planes. Just simple. Yeah, just, just very simple mana base. 22 lands. I would almost go 20 lands, because nothing is above... In the main board, nothing's above two mana. So you can even go 20 lands, put some extra stuff in. <laughs> yeah. Because the Is It Pirates that we have has 20 lands, and it does very well. That's hardcore, but yeah, you could do it. Yeah. All right, so sideboard, what do we got? Uh, sideboard's super wishy-washy as always, because there's so many cards, so many things. For right now, this is I just threw this together, be like, okay, this kind of works. Uh, two duress against control because mm -hmm. why not? It's just super good. Uh, this guy I wanted to try him. One, he's a vampire, so Team Edward, right? <laughs> Paladin of Atonement, two drop. It's very. I think it should be very good against mono red. So whenever you lose, uh, so being beginning of each upkeep, if you lost life the previous turn, put a one one counter on him. If he dies, you gain life equal to its toughness. So you're like play him turn two because. Mono Red's like Bomat Courier, uh, the dude, uh, the two one that makes a dude not block, the Cavu or whatever. Turn three, Uncart Crasher, your dude can't block. So while you're taking damage, this guy's getting bigger as long as they don't burn him. And if they do burn him, you gain life. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. So like that's always a hard when you're on the draw, you play this guy turn two. Hopefully you'll gain some life later on. Because you're just always evading your blockers. Yeah, it's pretty pretty solid little pick. Yeah. Um, saving Grace. Love this card. And Cham it with Flash. Uh, gives your dude plus zero, plus three. But the best thing is that all damage this turn dealt to you or creatures. Dealt, yeah, dealt to you or your creatures goes to this poor creature. So, our Devastation, uh, Sweltering Suns, just it protects you against that. Yeah, and it this card also allows you to go... To swing hard, because yeah. you, you could go all out in one turn, just alpha strike, and then be like, ah, this dude's dying. Yep, this one dude's dying, while all the other block dudes kill your dudes, or or even if you're blocking, you're like, okay, I'll stay the block. They swing out, you're like, okay, this dude's gonna die, but everything else can kill all your dudes. Yeah, I mean, you, you can use it offensively and defensively, that's cute. It's super cute. Uh, I just have four of the Kaisel Freebooter. He's just good. He's good against control. Mm -hmm. And he's a creature that helps you against control. That's why he's in there. I like it. Yeah. Then Vraska's Contempt. Because why not? It's, it's super good. Yeah. 
if uh, you don't have the money for it now, because I think it's like around 18 to 20 bucks. Of course, there's the white enchantments, cast out, Excellence Binding, that will take mm -hmm. the spot immediately. Like, it does the same thing, technically. Even more. Gets rid of Planeswalkers, and, or the, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, but the only thing this one has over it a little bit is because it gets it exiles a creature or a planeswalker and you draw you gain two life and it's instant speed and yeah two life gain so so you're you're gaining the life back that you're losing in the deck for doing other things to keep you keep you going or make your dude stay alive exactly so uh, so yeah that's a pretty side pretty solid sideboard and you know you can change it up depending on your meta around your town yeah. so. That's a great thing. About I like this little deck, man. It's just it's quick, fast, and it's gonna get there. Yeah. It, you're dying, or I'm dying. If you're it, like, that's what it plays. Exactly. So if you're like, I don't want to really be here this Friday, before Dominaria next set, just like put this together, swing all in, and go for it. Definitely looks fun. Yeah, it it was very fun on MTG Arena. It, it it won me a lot of games actually. It was pretty fun. All right. Well, as always, the deck list will be below. And with that, uh, thank you for watching here at Geektopia Island. Be sure to like and comment on the video. And to get our latest and greatest, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well. And to get notifications, there's also a little bell that you can hit. Now, if you want to look at some old deck tech videos, go ahead and click to the right. And if you want to see them in action, click the videos below. Thank you.